What is up everybody? Welcome back to Paranautical Activity. Last time we got really close to beating the game, and I'm thinking this time I can get the run, hopefully. I just need to move a bit smoother. Had a lot of problems uh, last game, not really moving and freezing up. So I'm thinking if I can keep bunny hopping and all that, it should be all good. And I need to turn down my headset. Actually, that could be the game too. No, it's not. Okay. That's good. Yeah, because if I turn down the actual game in the volume mixer, then the music will go away. Oh. Great. So we just lost two health in that in that room for no reason. Whatsoever. Okay, I'm just gonna keep doing stuff like this. Oh. It's not expecting him to come down. really do not like the rocket launcher, but I'll make it work because, you know, that's just how I do. <laughs> okay, there's the mini boss. Just because, why not? Okay. So, let's move on to the mini boss. Hopefully it's not uh, up close and personal mini boss. And it kind of is. This guy just charges you like every once in a while, but he doesn't have a lot of health, so that's good. So inaccurate. I'm trying to lead these two. Come on. How the hell did that not hit? I'll lead my shots a bit more. If we could get an M14 in the shop, I'd be so happy. It's been so long since I've used that gun. Okay, one last shot. There we go. And we get scissors. Cut prices in half. Nice. Never gotten that item before. Pretty good, though. Makes lightning bolt 200, so... I do not like this room. Ouch. Okay. I really want magnet though. That will save me some time. Make sure that I get all the items are in the room, even though sometimes it doesn't really work. Oh man, this room is so bad. I keep getting it too, that's the worst part about it. But I guess I'll get better at it. Okay, 98. So, stupid scouting. Boss room. Okay, so this has to be where the shop's at. gotta jump around like this because that way I have more speed than them.
and there's um apparently there's something that I didn't know but every time you jump and then jump again like do a bunny hop you get a 30% speed increase so it builds oh uh, we can go with the Gilead's gun I guess bomb box health box we can really use that because I don't want to mess around with the rocket launcher Oh man. Too many spiders. I'm dead. Okay. Wasn't a good run as far as items go, and of course now I get the scythe. Yay. And my least favorite room shows up again. Man, the luck. Okay, at least he's dead. Scythe, come back, please. There we go. Killed him. He just melee these guys. Cool thing about the thrown weapons in this game, you can actually just use them as melee weapons too for up close enemies. So you don't have to crank it each time. I'm not feeling too confident about having the scythe, so I just wanna end this as soon as possible, but this is a really good um, weapon for this room. Ugh, even though the fucking moths are gonna make it a lot worse, but I can just avoid them. But the scythe is definitely its strongest against the bosses in the game because they are pretty big targets, so it makes it very easy to get high damage on them with the scythe because the scythe does do massive damage it's just it's very hard to use because of um the hitbox on it just because the enemies are small for the most part so like for this example i mean i was able to get it on the other way around but whatever you get my point and we get blubber which it's a very good item, especially the bunny hopping because I can pretty much just... Uh, oh, shotgun! Nice. Okay, and Adderall, so that helps. Um, with Blubber, it slows you down, but when you're bunny hopping, you get faster, so... The effects of it is very minuscule, and you get double your health, which is automatically filled, so very good item okay take that buddy I will take your armor as well we're just gonna be looking for the mini boss and I'm gonna go ahead and head to the next floor Thank you, Aaron Jesus, for praising me with another great floor. I am forever grateful. You always gotta thank Aaron Jesus every once in a while, because he's a good guy. Okay, wrong strategy for this floor. That was not a good idea to run straight forward uh, into the demon there, because he will make you pay because I didn't have enough damage so note to sell it's also very hard to bunny hop in a room like this because of the stairs and the uh, little bridge things we got here she kind of sucks but just a challenge that you have to overcome I guess I'm really glad though that we were able to get Adderall and uh, won't be able to get lightning ball on unfortunately but that's also a very strong item 
And we got this guy. And I walked right into a demon, just like I did, um, I think two parts ago. I can't remember. And it's all gonna start running together for me because I'm gonna start recording a lot more of these. But, we took three hits in this room, which is kind of unfortunate. I should have remembered the, the, the ads in this room, but it's, un, it's okay. Um, got Blowfish, which will really help out, so that's a cool item. That item is actually 350, so getting it after a mini-boss is pretty cool. And uh, let's clear out one more room. This looks like an okay room. So yeah, let's clear out one more and then uh, head down to the second floor. Oh, I, I said room, didn't I? Or I didn't say room. I probably said floor. So we're going to head down to the second floor now. I don't have enough for any more items on this floor, but I have a pretty good head start for any 200 items on the next floor. So it's going to be all good. And got some health back. Let me just check out the gift shop. I'm not gonna go with the scythe, but shotgun on the other hand, I have no problems with. Shotgun and M14 are my two personal favorites. Discussed in the past why I really like the M14, but the shotgun is just really high damage and has no costs to it other than a bit of a like a damage loss over range, but whatever. Deal. Yeah, so this is a room where I can really do all my bunny hopping. The bunny hopping strategy is a bit easier for people who actually have played a lot of um, Quake esque games because that's pretty much where it's from. original idea at all. Okay, trigger finger. Nice. Okay, so we're getting some pretty good items uh, for the first couple of floors. The only item that I really want now is flip flops. That'll be really helpful, so I want that, but I can wait. There isn't lava floors at the moment, so... I also hope to get the two flying guys as the boss so I can get double jump. Ooh, you're hiding down here. And I think I got all the money in this room. I was watching back one of the old episodes and I missed a shield and that was the that was the good that was when I had my good run is when I missed the shield. In one of the rooms I could have made it. I wanted hell all the difference, but Whatever. Let's go ahead and take on this mini boss. I like this mini boss. Um, gotta make sure that now oh, his ad exploded anyway. So we're just jumping side to side. And we got a move up or a speed up. Oh, yeah, the boss right after. Yes, okay, so we're gonna get double jump after this. Nice. I just want to get both of them to the other form. This makes it a bit easier on me personally, but that's just personal preference. Okay, so a ton of loot. Full health, uh, a couple of armors. Really good room. And we have a double jump. Yay! So, there's our double jump. I had double jump in the past, but I haven't really utilized it very well. And let's go back and get that mystery box. 
Hopefully it's lightning. I would really like it to be lightning or flip-flops. One of the two would be awesome, or some sort of damage up. Uh, rump would be pretty cool too. Oh, uh, sticky bombs. Ooh, this brings up an interesting proposition because we have gum now, so we have sticky grenades. Um, and we have the grenade launcher right here, so... Which one should I stick with? I've had such good luck with uh, the shotgun in the past. I'm not really ready to uh, use the grenade launcher because I really want to. Um, we should probably clear out some more rooms to get some more money. Um, yeah, I really don't want to risk this run. Eh, should I? No, let's just go to the next floor. I have 15 hits right now. I'm a little bit low in the money department, but... Eh, I got a bunch of good items, and the one item that I want is a 150 item, so I'll have no problem getting that if it shows up. Okay, so we're on the third floor now, and I believe lava rooms are now a thing. Along with hoppers being in every room. Got a one tick of poison on him. Ah, keep getting caught on stairs. Okay, so they can't get a good shot on me. That's good. And the hopper is stuck. So we're just gonna... Let's move around to the other side. Let him know it's up. Okay, so we got another armor. If I can really just get through these rooms, no problem, and not take any hits and they drop armor, this is going to be quite the run. But if I start taking dumb hits, then this is not going to be good. Oh, no, I don't like this room. Yeah, this is one of the rooms where I take a ton of hits because I start prioritizing enemies, and when I do that, I don't really, uh, pay attention to all the enemies in the room. I haven't really come up with a good strategy for this room yet, but... The upside is that that thing is gonna drop two armor, and, yeah, we didn't lose any health, so... All good in the neighborhood. I mean, my amount of hits that I can take can really snowball if we keep getting shield drops in every room, is pretty much what I'm trying to say, but... Ooh, not this room again. That was a weird noise that I made, too. Ooh. I gotta prioritize. Oh, it's just, we got a little bit more of a mini guy type of scheme here. I don't remember them being in the last room, but I could just kill them subconsciously. Okay, so I believe in um, prioritizing the moths because they will um, shoot homing shots, and those aren't those are bad news bears, and it's just one enemy there. So if I let them stay, then I'm having homing shots after me constantly. Okay, so that was a good shot, and that was that room. Nice. Ah, oh, sweet, we have flip-flops, and I need 40 more. Spinach, kiss of death, what a shop. Man, that's a good shop, okay. Spinach will be good if we can get it, because that will give me some more health. Kiss of death will too, but I don't think I'm going to have that much. Oh, missed my opportunity there. And there's the same room. Where's the hopper at? There he is. Kiss of Death, of course, does more damage, and Flip Flops gives you two health. Uh, well, yeah, two health uh, hit points, I guess, and um, makes you throw bombs quicker. And Flip Flops, yeah, I think I already said that. And 
and I'm going to suffer because I didn't have flip flops, but whatever. Where you at, Hopper? There you are. Okay, so the boss room is open now. Should I just go in there? Eh. Why not? There isn't going to be a lava in there. Oh, it is Zeus. Not Zeus, Poseidon. Okay, so what I need to do in this room is to just make sure that I keep moving. I'm getting a bit close to him. So that way, as little blowfish as possible hit me, and I'm failing right now because I'm still letting them hit me. Yep. I hate this boss so much. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm going to keep taking damage because they don't disappear. Come on. <laughs> like, it'd be cool if you could shoot them one way of avoiding this whole ordeal, but we don't get an item out of this because uh, they do not, oh, Poseidon always gives the trident, and I don't have the magnet, so it's not viable at all, um, we do have enough for flip-flops now, and let's work towards spinach, hopefully I can get enough for that, if I get more rooms with just hoppers though, I won't be able to. Okay, get out of my way, Hopper. Ugh. Okay, so we got some armor, two health. Dollars. How am I getting hit? a bit here. Oh my god, I stopped running. Okay. Scissors? No, it's horseshoe. Or what is that? Yeah, that is horseshoe. Okay, more loot. Nice. Okay, well that will help me get more monies. Bombs. One more room left, so sadly I will not be able to get spinach. Damn. That sucks. Well, at least I got flip flops on this floor.
What the hell, that thing is still following me? Get out of here, buddy. Do not need a blowfish to still follow me. It's not cool. What was the other item in there? Was it a gun or was it just a box? Oh, it's Kiss of Death. Okay, so I won't have enough to get Spinach or Kiss of Death, so that's unfortunate. <sighs> I might have been able to if I did more rooms on the last floor, but whatever. Yeah, but hopefully they fix Poseidon in the next uh, patch, because it's really annoying how he just sends homing missiles at you that don't go away. I mean, of course, I don't expect them to just, like, disappear, but they just, they keep tracking you, and it's very annoying. So, we got our buddies, the Flaming Skulls. money though and the shops right here oh what was going on down here they must have killed themselves because I didn't even shoot down there I already have more than 150 so I don't know how many other 150 items there are though Possibly spring that would help in floors like this, so I don't have to use the stairs. We have a mystery box, spring, and a Gilead's gun. Bring it, spring. That's just gonna make my life a lot easier. Okay, so we got this. Bunch of armor in here. Which is all good. And we'll most likely have enough for the mystery box too, which I'm hoping is from. Okay, the jellyfish is a lot easier with shotgun because of course you do more damage when it's closer and it moves closer on a lot and we get a crossbow ew nope okay that's all I need to say to you crossbow Explosives. Oh my god. Shouldn't have gotten hit there. Oh, I still got more hoppers. Closer. 
more monies. Looks like I will be getting 200. Let's go see what is in the mystery box. I'm really liking how there's no bad things that can come out of a mystery box other than wasting your money. Because I would hate it if it was like a health down or something. Anchor wouldn't be that bad. That way I could hit the ground faster. Shield lover, nice. This and horseshoe will probably work out well together. And we already got, or no, that's just the elevator. Okay, let's do some room scouting. We got three exits there. Okay, we're gonna go in here because there's a lot less, there's a lot less turns and whatnot. There's lava, so this is gonna make it easier on me. Oh man, I got stuck. Ugh. What a terrible... <laughs> that was awful. I took six hits, seven hits even, maybe. Come on, shield lover, do your job. It's ridiculous. I should be having shields right now. Got some health, though. There is definitely health in other rooms that I can go back and get, most likely. Oh, I really hope that's the boss door back there. Okay, we can now move up. Thank you, finally dropping a shield. What the fuck? Don't just hit me. Oh, it's probably a homing shot. Oh my god, another awful room. Of course, Shield Lover isn't doing its job at all. more shield drops before. Ooh. No, pick it up. There we go. Oh, 
Okay, well, we finally have the boss room. Oh, great. Not this guy. And that's it. Damn. Oh, I get the worst boss with the least amount of health. God damn, I got fucked over late in that run. Whatever, guys, that'll be this part. So, I will see you guys next time.